my brothers and sisters, the Lord has given me a word to share with you all. Those of you that are the elect of God, this is not for everybody. Those of you that have been chosen and have been called, those of you that are answering the call of God, the word of the Lord is do not get out of position. Do not get out of position. There's a lot of noise. There are a lot of distractions. There are a lot of things that's going on. And God is saying it's only to get you out of position. As you're looking at the news, you may be listening to things that's going on on social media, the feeds, the threads, everything. There's a noise, there's a noise, there's a noise that's sent to get you out of position. The Lord wants you to focus on him. He wants you to put your eyes on him. Keep your eyes on him. Do not lose heart. Do not lose hope. Many of you are getting tired. Many of you are thinking of backsliding. Many of you are thinking of turning around. Many of you are losing faith. Many of you are starting to question God. Many of you are starting to question the words of God. Many of you are starting to wonder whether the Bible is real or not. Whether this whole Christian thing is real is what's going through some of you all's mind. But God is saying, I am not a religion. I am not a Christian. I am not a Methodist. I am not a Catholic. I am God. Are you going to follow me? Are you going to stick with me? Are you going to go through the valley of the shadow of death and trust that I am with you? Are you going to stand fast? Will your face be like a flint in these times when there are challenges? There's a lot of fear in the hearts of my people, the Lord is saying. There's a lot of fear in the hearts of my people. There's a lot of fear in the hearts of my people. There's a lot of discouragement, but this is the time to wake up and pray. This is a time to wake up and pray. This is a time to worship. This is a time to praise my name. This is a time to lift up your hands before me. Because when the enemy hears praise, he trembles and he runs. When you call on the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall shall confess the demons in the the gates of hell they they shake when they hear your praises and your worship worship and praise is what you need to do right now delve into the word of god close your ears to all the noise and listen to my voice be still, the Lord is saying, be still, be still, be still and stand fast on my word. There is fear, there's anxiety, there is anger, there are complaints, there is murmuring, there is murmuring, there is backbiting, there is strife, there is sin in the camp, there's so much that's going on. But God is saying, I'm putting a fire and a light in those of you that you are called. Some of you are thinking that you are alone, but you're not alone. God is saying there are others around you spread all over the face of this earth that has a purpose. God is saying, do the work that he has told you to do. Focus on your work. Focus on the ministry that I have placed in your hand. Focus on the things that I've given you to do. Focus on the talents that I've given to you. Focus on doing my perfect will. Don't listen to what's happening around you. Don't fear. Don't get caught up in politics. I hear the Lord saying, do not get caught up in it. The Lord is saying, do not get caught up in it. There are people, it's not just about listening. It's not about listening to the news, but you're getting caught up. Some of you are getting stained. Some of you, you've been, you have been infected and now it is driving you. you. It is driving you. It's driving you. It's driving you. But God says, look to me from whence comes your help. Your help comes from me, which made the heavens and the earth. God is saying, focus. It is time to focus. It's time to look inside. It's time to listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. It is time to follow the instructions of the Holy Spirit. But he's saying, do not get out of position. The devil wants you to be distracted. The enemy wants you to be distracted. There may be things going on in your home. There may be things going on in your area. Area and everything that's going on around you in your community, in your country, in nations. And so now it's in the hearts of the children of God to want to move out of position, to want to set your, set your sights on certain things. 
But the enemy just wants you to get out of position. The enemy wants you to get distracted. The enemy wants you to run out. Run out and chase the distractions. Run out and chase the news. Run out and chase what's being said. And you move out of position. And the enemy will go in and plunder all that belongs to you. If the enemy can bind the strong man, then it can enter into the home. So how can he bind the strong man? He can bind your mind. He can bind your mind. He may not physically come in and bind you, my brothers and sisters. God is saying the enemy is going to come in by binding your mind. Binding your mind with worldly thoughts. Binding your mind by making you think of about and get caught up in the world make you pray for things that he didn't tell you make you pray for things that God did not tell you to pray for when you're focusing your prayers on things that God did not tell you to pray for prayer is, requires wisdom as well prayer that requires wisdom as well some of you you're praying for things that has nothing to do with the work of God you're praying for things and while you're praying over here you're busy you're out of position you're busy over here you're busy tinkering in things and in matters that has nothing to do with God, has nothing to do with the will of God. And so while you're over here busy and distracted, the enemy is getting in, the enemy is infiltrating, the enemy is coming in and binding and stealing and taking and plundering. My brothers and sisters, stay in position. Do not get distracted. This is the word of the Lord today. Do not get distracted. Do not get distracted. Do not get distracted. Do not get weary of the word. Do not get weary of prayer. Do not get weary of worship. Do not get weary of fasting. You are not fasting. Many of you, you're not fasting. And God is saying, so you're hearing all types of voices. You're listening to all kinds of things. Oh, so many of you, you're just focused on, on hearing from God from other people. But God says, I want to speak to you. I am talking to you, but you're not listening. When I speak to you, you feel you need someone to confirm it for you. And while it is good to take sweet counsel, one or not one one with another what is going on is the counsel of man has taken the place of the voice of God the Lord is saying do not get out of positions my brothers and sisters do not get out of positions do not get distracted 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 it's time to worship it is time to praise God. It is time to just lift up your hands and give God glory and honor. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord. Holy is the Lord. Greatly to be praised. He is sovereign. He is God. He is all-knowing. He is omniscient. He is our everything. By him, all things exist. By him, all things consist. So why are you afraid? Why are you afraid, my brothers and sisters? Oh God, we just thank you. We worship you, Lord. We exalt you. Only you are worthy. We thank you, Lord, for life. We thank you for air. We thank you for our mobility of our bodies. We thank you for shelter and food and clothing. Thank you, oh God, for everything. Thank you, oh God, for the perfection of this world. In the name of Jesus, the perfection of this world, how you created it, Lord God. The perfect function, the systematic setting of this earth, the moon, the stars, the sun, everything, God, set in place for us, oh God. We thank you, my God, for all that you do. We thank you for the functions of this planet, oh God. The basic things that you've given us to live and to survive. We give you the glory for those things, oh God. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you for salvation. We thank you for calling us. We thank you for calling out us, calling us out of darkness into your marvelous light, oh God. We thank you, God, that you're making us the head and not the tail. We thank you that we're above and not beneath. We thank you that our face shall not be moved. We thank you that our face shall be like the face of lions, oh God. We have the hearts of, the, of warriors, oh God, to do your will, oh God. Fathers, the children of Israel did not fear. Let us not fear during these times in the name of Jesus Christ oh God we just thank you we thank you that those that you have called those that you have called those that are the called, they will rise up 
they will not be afraid. They will not just be talking big on social media. They will not just be talking big on the phone. They'll not just be talking big on their blogs, but they will rise up. Let them not be taken. Let their feet not be taken. Let them not be afraid in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them, oh God, have their feet on even and solid ground. We thank you, Father, that they're learning to have on the whole armor of God, the whole armor of God, and they're rising up and they're speaking your word and they're doing what they're called to do, oh God. They're doing your perfect will. Oh, my brothers and sisters, get into position. Get into position. Get into position. Stop being distracted. The Lord is saying it's all a distraction. Focus on him. Focus on him. Be led by him. Don't be anxious about anything. All the answers are right within you. The Holy Spirit will guide you. The Holy Spirit will bring all things to your remembrance. The Holy Spirit will show you what is to come. The Holy Spirit will keep you. You will be in the cleft of the rock. You will be in the middle of disaster. And you are yet safe. Oh, but you must believe. 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 Get in position. Do not be distracted. This is the word of the Lord today.